Today we are back with the landscaping series on the Wind Chaser map. Today is Thanksgiving Day and overnight we received just over a foot of snow. We'll be going out this morning to plow before the Thanksgiving meal. We'll be using our 2020 Darmax with a boss plow to plow our house and our neighbors. Then we'll be heading over to the shop to switch trucks and do a few commercial driveways. So far this 2020 Duramax has been doing a great job. I have just over 10 plow hours on it and really do like the power and uh, the truck setup. Uh, this does have the Boss DXT stainless V plow on it with the uh, foot extensions on either side. Let's hop on the inside and get going on today's plowing. Like I have touched on, we need to get all of our neighbors and residential lots cleared out so that all the family members can park in the driveways and have a great Thanksgiving. And I hope everyone has a great day. Let me know how it is down below. What is your favorite food uh, for Thanksgiving? Let me know. I really do like the uh, turkey and all of the other desserts that go along with uh, Thanksgiving. We will be using our OBS uh, Ford later on today. Uh, to do a few commercial lots that definitely need to get opened up for a few hours at the least. It's pretty exciting that we do get snow on Thanksgiving. Now, hopefully we do have a white Christmas. Getting maybe two, three feet of snow on Christmas would also be uh, kind of a cool thing. But it's nice to get it on Thanksgiving. And I do know that parts of the United States are getting uh, snow this week, which is awesome. I really do like snow putting the plows to use and being able to go have fun in it. Now our neighbors do pay us which is great and uh, I do try to do them first before I head out to all of our other ones. We're going to do the entire street but some are a little bit easier to get uh, going in the opposite direction. Looks like it's a little bit slippery here today, sliding around. So far everyone has really been enjoying the uh, landscaping series, switching it up and doing snow plowing so far, which is awesome. Uh, that's pretty realistic for companies uh, to put plows on their trucks and equipment and put it to use in the winter. Looks like the town plows haven't come out or even put any salt out. So hopefully they come out soon and kind of just get it all cleared up. Now this is a pretty big drive right here. It is actually a duplex. Uh, so we do have to give it enough room here now. Uh, since it is kind of early winter, I do try to push the piles back a little bit further into the grass. That way, uh, as it freezes, we have more room because we are going to be getting a ton of snow this year. So far, I really do like the uh, 2020 Duramax. It's such a great looking truck, and especially plowing snow, it just looks so cool. Perfect, we got that done, and we have one more over here. I definitely do have lots more plans here for the snow plowing series. Lots more uh, properties and equipments we can use, and also, I do have plans to uh, kind of switch maps uh, coming soon. Some driveways are a little bit easier than others, but uh, I, I really like all of these uh, for their unique challenges. The driveway here is a little bit easier to get from this end just because of how uh, we kind of push the snow here. 
Now I do want to get some LED lights, maybe a light bar up top uh, that's mounted via suction cups. I think that that would be a, such a cool thing to add uh, to our plow trucks, add a little bit of awareness uh, since we are backing up and doing so many different uh, movements while we are out at driveways just like this one. Oh yeah, look at scoop mode, really pushing a ton of snow right there. One feature I really would like to have here for uh, snow plowing is back dragging. I think that's such a cool thing that you could do and it would be awesome to get it to work. Like I have touched upon, let me know down below what is your favorite part of the Thanksgiving meal and also what's your favorite dessert from Thanksgiving. And that's it. We'll head over to the shop, get switch trucks. I really do like that Western wide out. It's so efficient uh, and it goes up to I believe 12 to 13 feet wide uh, with it fully extended out. And it's kind of a little scoop, uh, big box plow for a pickup truck. Next season, we will be doing a role play landscaping series, which should be pretty exciting. I can't wait for that, and I do have some new uh, series starting up as well. And we made it over here to the shop, which is great. We'll just kind of get parked out front. Now, we don't have time really to plow our shop since we do want to get back for the Thanksgiving dinner. Let's hop here in the OBS, our 1996 Ford F-350. Really do like this truck, it's just a workhorse. We, they actually don't cost much money uh, to own and operate these because the 7.3s are such great engines. Now we do have the uh, Boss uh, Sander in the back, fully loaded as well, so we are a bit heavier today. Payload wise, let's get these folded out now and I think we'll do a few residential on the way to the commercial, but for commercial, we are actually doing a restaurant that's open this morning, and then a little grocery store market area is what we are doing. Now this is a pretty big driveway that we'll be pushing snow at. I really do enjoy snow plowing. I have uh, gone and plowed trucks in real life. It is a ton of fun uh, being able to push snow, hopping out, shoveling the walkways, and I definitely want to kind of find a way to see if we could get working shovels here in the game. But lots of cool things coming to the channel within the next month as well. I will have a lot more time once I am on winter break, and we'll be doing GTA and a ton of other videos like American Truck Simulator like you guys have been requesting. Let's head on over and do those commercial lots. Those are going to take quite a bit of time, and we should get going on them. Now I think it will be pretty cool to do a video doing like a first person challenge where we have to do it in a uh, first person view uh, for the entire video. I think that would be pretty interesting and exciting and I'm definitely up for the challenge. So let me know if you guys would like to see one of those types of videos. And also would you would you also like it to be how I, I kind of set up like a tripod at like a driveway and you watch uh, me plow. I think that would also be interesting and cool to do if you guys would like to see. This western wideout though is doing quick work of this commercial lot. Hopefully we can get some more uh, of the older trucks here for regular cabs and other uh, configurations of these older trucks. Definitely want maybe an extended cab, uh, maybe 06 uh, Chevy Silverado. I think that would be a, a sweet truck to get and use as a work truck.
the 7-3 is no problem with power. It's just very powerful. One of the best uh, power strokes ever made. And uh, looks like we push back the piles just enough, which is good. A little bit of cleanup down here, and then we're on to the next one. I do try to be efficient with these, trying to uh, do a good job as well, uh, making good snow piles, cleaning it up enough uh, for our clients. Now I always do try to travel with the blade angle to give a little bit more air to the uh, front grill than what we usually get because there's really not much anyways uh, going to. But up next we are doing a kind of small grocery store, general store down here. And then I think we do have time for a few more houses which we'll do. Coming soon we will put those new uh, snow removal equipment to work like that uh, compact wheel loader and uh, that uh, gator for the uh, sidewalks. I really do like first person view though for plowing, it's so cool and it just adds to the realism. Having those markers on the end are pretty helpful and we definitely need markers on all of our properties to help out. That way we know where the curbs are, where the grass line is, and that way we don't do too much damage and possibly uh, kind of uh, even damage our own truck by hitting a curb or uh, any other object. We have to clean up the other entrance, and this one is pretty much there, so we are pretty efficient. Once you uh, do uh, these lots for a, a few times, you definitely get used to the patterns in and kind of how you want to uh, kind of plow the uh, property because there's so many different areas you can push the snow to, and you just want to find the one that's the most efficient and best uh, place for it as well. Now this is the perfect area where that gator or even our Kubota would be uh, snowblower would be perfect for that back area. But today we just need to get some more uh, properties plowed out so that uh, people could get some last minute food items and then go uh, to do all the uh, properties to kind of have a great time with their families. Let's kind of see if we do a little bit more back here. It's going to be a little tight though. And we will do this kind of small restaurant here. They, I believe that they are open today. I definitely just wanted to do the ones that are open. Then after the uh, dinner, uh, probably late tonight, I will go out and kind of finish the other commercial properties. A lot of these stores aren't open on Thanksgiving, so I'm just trying to do those that are so that everyone can kind of get to them without having to kind of walk through and drive through the snow.
and that is pretty much it here for today's video. I hope all of you guys enjoyed it plowing on Thanksgiving Day over a foot of snow, which is awesome. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.